Okay guys, right, let's get started. I've got the original grey that I used to do the um, base coat. We give that a good shake. This is stuff that I mixed up myself. Obviously you can use any sort of grey from um, like a DIY store. This is more like a charcoal grey, if that helps. Squirt a little bit of that in there. Obviously, for the dry brushing, you don't need a lot of paint. Okay, and I've got some white here. Like I said, any white would do, as long as it's a water-based paint. And what you want to do is... Get this top open, there we go. I'm going to put just a tiny bit in and then mix it up. What you want to do is just make it a little bit lighter. I think I need to go a little bit lighter than that. So another couple of drops. Give that a little stir. And what you can do is you can put a brush against your uh, background or platform just to have a look at the colour and see if you need to go any lighter. We're getting there. It's, this is my brush. It's got the colour on it. Just put it up against your base coat colour and I think that's a lot lighter. Yeah. What you want to do is get some kitchen towel and take off as much as the paint as possible. Which is basically just rubbing it on here. Like so. Right. You now have a dry brush. And then, okay, we'll start with this wall right here, which is that one. And what you want to do is lightly go over your background. Like so. You can always see it's creating an effect. Remember, because it's got a rough texture, it will come out a lot better than if, I say, you had a flat surface. Because all those little bits of lighter grey that you're putting on will actually highlight some of the areas right as you can see already I've got some highlights around here I need a bit more paint I mean, you can't really mess up with this um, if you feel you need to go a bit lighter which sometimes I do I look at it and I think you know it needs to be a bit lighter uh, simply add some more white to uh, to your mix and just go in again. Obviously the more different shades of grey you've got on here, the better, because this will give it that natural stone rock look. And this is what I do for, uh, for most of my backgrounds. As you can see here, let's give you see if I can zoom in a little. You see already, yeah. Like I said, best time to do this is um, during the day when you've got natural daylight. Um, doing it in the evenings with. Um, your false light is just doesn't work. Hi guys.
sorry about that. The uh, I ran out of memory on the camcorder. Slightly embarrassing. Uh, but okay, moving on. I have decided, while well, I've been waiting around, that um, the grey was a little bit on the dark side. So what I've done is I've added another three drops of white. And that seemed to have done the trick. And now I'm going to go in with that and see how that turns out. Remember, lightly was it. I think that looks a lot better. Yeah, that's what I want. Like I said, if you think it's too dark at first, then uh, just add some more white, mix it up, and then uh, put it on again. Um, I also try to go in one direction rather than like all over sort of thing. I tend to start from the left and then go down because then you've kind of got a pattern you know if your if your light source was like up there then it kind of makes sense to have your your lighter highlights on the one corner of each kind of brick okay I need bit more paint and a bit more kitchen roll as well you'll find that you'll be wasting a lot of paint on this because you'll be getting a lot on your brush and then you'll be wiping it off again hence the, uh, the word dry brushing you can see already the difference do the top as well. Okay, you guys, this is the right hand side of the wall. And as you can see, you now have a lovely stone effect. I'm going to show you the steps. See, it's not just one solid colour anymore. You've got different shades of grey in there as well, lighter grey. Some bits look a little bit more white. And on here, yeah, you see there? You see the highlights coming out? That's why I said do this in daylight, because you can see a lot better see on there all those little bricks that you've been working hard on have suddenly just popped out and the same here that you can really see it there and yeah that's basically how you create your uh, your stone effect Same down here. Yeah, so once again, dry brush, and what you'll want to do is start from one side, work your way through, and aim for one direction. I always aim from left to right, going down. And the same for these as well. You see these have come out. So yeah, that is, that is it on this part. I've got a lot more to show you. Um, I am going to put some vines on here, which I'm going to show you how I make. I'm going to put some vines on here. Um, I was hoping to find a little plaque or something as well to maybe put on this side wall. Um, what else have I got? I've got the varnishing to do. And uh, and then that should be it. But yeah, there'll be another video for you guys. So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned in. Okay, bye. Here we go. 
and I'm going to put this, I think, around here. Now this is probably best off flat 